Hey guys, I'm Time is But a Window, and today we are going to be doing another Overwatch. Here you can see the suspect has 15 kills, 144 damage around. He's coming towards Banana. Ooh, nice shot onto that guy. I didn't even see him. That was kind of through the smoke. I wonder if you could actually see that. Like, he jumped up for a second, but as far as I could tell, he couldn't. But still, that's just two early kills. Not enough to judge yet, I don't think, but his teammate is shooting him in the back. Or maybe that wasn't on purpose because it was only for seven damage. Still though, he's going to be making his way up here. He did check over to the right by that tree, and he is creeping up. Smokes off, T-spawn, and checks underneath the underpass. Looks up towards the window. Kind of aimed right on that guy. Seemed like he kind of knew he was there. And he was able to take him down. That leaves one guy left, Donkey. Which, uh, considering I was just reading about Donkey Kong a minute ago, it's a very appropriate name, even though it has nothing to do with it. Still, though, the suspect gets taken down. It seemed like he did not know he was up there on that balcony. Okay, making his way back over here towards Banana again. AWP in hand. He's got a nade out, throws it deep, connects with some damage to two of the opposing team, and he's set up, waiting for a guy to peek out. His crosshair's in the perfect spot, so if a guy does peek, his head should show up right there. But instead, he just kind of shot right through the logs and he's able to take him down. Now another guy went over there into that corner. Guy over here to the left now, and he's taking some shots with the Deagle. His teammate pushes up middle and flanks that guy. That leaves one guy left on the terrorist team. He's gonna push towards the suspect. The suspect's gonna take him down instantly. As of right now, even though those areas are kind of predictable, the way that he's aiming on people so consistently, I'm starting to really think this guy is walling and just trying to hide it as if he's not. He's gonna make his way over here towards Banana. There's a guy by the car, he takes shots at both sides, takes a guy up to the right side, another guy to the left by the car, takes him down. That round did not seem too suspicious. So let's wait until he's got a little bit bigger gun that he can shoot through objects with. Now he's got a deagle watching Banana. The guy pushes towards him. He is able to connect with a shot, but he's not able to kill him, but his teammate was. And he reloads the gun, but isn't able to do any more damage. Still though, it looks like the terrorists won that round as well. And the suspect is sitting here AFK at the moment. Score is 11 to 6. So they're up by quite a few, so he doesn't really have any need to cheat right now. He could just kind of coast and probably get away with the win. Still though, it depends how much he wants to secure it or how good he wants to look. Takes a couple shots over here towards Banana, kills two guys. Almost got that third one. There it goes. One by the car, he peeks it, he doesn't seem to expect it, and he goes down. But the terrorists win that round as well. Definitely got some work done. He's gonna make his way back up here towards middle. One guy is peeking it. Some shots at him. It does come out on him, but it's a pretty typical spot. People either pick from that right side or the left side up there usually. Oh, got hit for quite a bit of damage there. And he goes down from that guy at corner. That Mag-7, that, those close corners like that, can be a pain in the ass to deal with. It does so much damage, and even there you saw it hit him through the wall a little bit, and it still dinked him through that wall a little bit. Did, what, almost 90 damage? Did 83 damage? So, yeah, it's definitely fatal. He's able to come around this time and take out that guy up close. One more making his way towards spawn. He's not even checking towards sight, but I assume that he thinks this is the only other guy in sight. And he gets taken out by that AWP. So now he's going to be making his way back up here towards Banana again. He throws a nade off the fence. Pulls his gun out to shoot this guy that pushed him. It seemed like he was prepared for that push. Seems like he just knew that guy was going to be there. Maybe his teammate had spotted it out. He's able to kill this guy over here by the sandbags. You know, smoke off CT spawn. He's actually going to push through it, it looks like. And leaves one guy left, and he's outside of A, making his way towards middle. Odds are not good for this last guy with an auto shoddy, but I've seen it happen before in a 1v5. I have actually seen that. 1v5 auto shoddy where the other team had rifles. It was interesting, but it wasn't on this map. It was 
It was on a different map completely. So he comes out, knows where this guy is, takes him down. All right, while there were several suspicious parts throughout this game, I can't say that there was probably enough to convict him of anything. Griefing, we didn't see him doing any griefing. Other external assistants, I didn't see any bunny hopping or speed hacking. No upside down views. Vision assistance, that's questionable. Uh, aim assistance, insufficient. But at the end of the day, is the vision assistance evident beyond reasonable doubt? No, it's not. Those uh, five events could have been all coincident. Plus, we also watched the second half of it where his team was up. He may have been cheating a lot more during the first half, and we just kind of caught the back end of it before he turned him off if he was cheating. And uh, I would say he's suspicious, but not enough that I can convict him at this point. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed.